A lot of people come to me asking me this common question, how to start a business with zero dollars. And today I am going to give you that answer right now. Drum roll. Get a job. Stop watching YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and seeing people that has businesses, entrepreneur, business owners that are buying these homes, driving these fancy cars, but you want to jump from not having nothing to driving a Bentley. And it don't work like that. It steps into becoming a business owner and you need to learn these steps so you can be able to do everything right. Before I got in the position that I am in, I had to work. When I was 12, I knew being a business owner was what I wanted to do. So I went around in the neighborhood. I knocked on a few doors um, and asked if they need a yard clean, need help around the house, and I started bringing in some income. I began to DJ. I was a little popular DJ at 12. I became a popular DJ in Fort Lauderdale, and I made my own mixtapes. I made my own CDs, thanks to my cousin Chris. He bought my first DJ set. I was selling my mixtapes and CDs to people I know, friends, family, and when my popularity got where it needed to be, people would be knocking on my mom's door to buy this 12 and 13 year old boy mixtapes. With that, I then went and got a job. I learned skills. My mom keep telling me, you need to learn skills. You need to learn responsibility. You want to be a business owner one day. You need to go work for somebody and see how they run their business so you can be able to do the same one day. I got a job at Winn-Dixie. I worked there for a while, and I just didn't like how I was treated. So I went back to doing what I was doing, that's selling my mixtapes and making music and DJing parties. Um, then one of the guys who used to sell my CDs out of their store, he gave me a job working there. He told me I could sell my music plus other people music and help him out in the shop Thursday to Sunday. And that was at the Oakland Park Flea Market in Fort Lauderdale. I worked there for years and he taught me a lot, especially with business because that was his business. He owned it. So he taught me a lot. So thanks to Alex, you know. Um, I was able to learn a lot about business working up under him, starting a business. To start a business, you have to get business licensing. You got to see what type of business or service that you're doing. If you got to pay sales tax, it's a huge responsibility. But before you get yourself into this responsibility, you want to stabilize yourself. You want to make sure your life is in order before you get into a business. How are you going to start a business if your life ain't in order? Because a business is a huge responsibility. Your life is a huge responsibility. You have to take care of yourself. So if you don't take care of yourself and you don't stabilize your life and your lifestyle, how can you run a business? It makes no sense. I'm going to show you these five steps today so you can follow these steps and it can help you prepare yourself into becoming a business owner. Let's get you a job so you can be able to save money. I don't care if it's a couple thousand dollars a month and you putting away a couple hundred dollars a month so you can be able to move up in life. That's a start. You must start somewhere. Stop thinking you going to Go from here to there overnight because you are not. Be realistic with yourself and know that I have to do these things if I want to become great. If I want to become successful, these are the tools that I need to get there. Stop being in a rush for things because anything fast and in a rush always crash. Once you're working and you're saving your money, now you can start a side hustle. The side hustle can be selling products, it can be a service, but whatever that side hustle is, you can start using your family, your friends to support your side hustle. So now you're bringing in more money. Now the $2,000 you was bringing in a month become $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, $6,000. Now 
you are stabilizing your life. That's that's the third step. Stabilizing your life. One, get a job. Two, start your side hustle. Three, stabilize your life. Stabilize it. Stabilize your income. Have your bills. Pay your bills on time. Live a comfortable, less stressed life by stabilizing yourself before you even think about opening up a business because a business is a huge responsibility that you will have to take on. And when you're taking on this huge responsibility, I want you to be able to do it the right way so you don't have a lot of issues that I had in the beginning of starting my first business. And four, you are saving money, lots of money now. You are doing very well with your life. Five, make a proper investment with your money. Find something that you can invest in. And the best thing I feel for anyone to invest in, buy your first home. If you're renting, get out of paying rent. If you if you're paying fourteen, twelve hundred, sixteen hundred dollars on paying rent, buy your first home. Cause now you can have equity to put into a business or anything else if you need it. It's now you're not renting from someone. You own your home. You're paying your mortgage. Your mortgage is reasonable. You're happy. Your kids, your wife, your family, or if it's just you, your life is on a awesome track. That's where you want to be. Once you're at that level that your life is on an awesome track, then you can go into opening up your first business. And thank you for watching this video. If you would like to learn more on how to open up a business, go on to my vlogs and it's there waiting on you. Until next time, see you guys later.